There's this show at Magic Kingdom called The Country Bears Jamboree, which has got to be one of the creepiest animatronic shows out there. Aside from the old-fashioned, disturbing-looking bears that sing, there are a couple of other things that elevate it to a whole new level of terror. The first thing is this bear cub animatronic that literally sits there through the entire show just looking terribly depressed. It doesn't sing or anything. It just sits there rocking back and forth, hugging a teddy bear. Then most of the way through the show, I kid you not, this old bear called Big Al randomly sings a song about there being blood on the ground. Just going on and on about blood on the ground. When I first saw it, I thought it was just a really weird show and didn't think too much about it. Then I heard a story about a kid who went missing there. And let me tell you, it really changed my opinion about it. Apparently when the park first opened, a teenage boy and his little brother broke off from their parents to go check out the show while they were eating at Pecos Bill next door. And even back then, attendance at that show could be a little spotty sometimes. So the kids somehow ended up in the theater completely by themselves. Elijah, the younger of the two, was afraid of the show from the very beginning, before the bears even started talking. His brother Joseph was confused by Elijah's reaction, because he felt like his brother was making a really big deal out of pretty much nothing. However, once the show started, even he grew a little more concerned. A curtain opened up, and a creepy bear with a top hat was seen standing behind it. It jostled around slightly, but didn't make any kind of noise, just continuing to stare at the two boys, with an enormous, disturbing smile. Joseph, who had seen the show before, knew that this wasn't right, so after a couple of minutes of that, he got up and tried to look for an employee. Eventually, he walked out of the theater and into the lobby, where he found a lonely employee and told her about the show. She said she would try to reboot it from the control room and told him to go back to his seat. Joseph, satisfied, accepted this and went back into the theater. But that was when things got bad. Apparently Elijah was not in his seat anymore. Joseph looked around everywhere in the theater, but his little brother was nowhere to be found. As he ran for the door to go looking for him, he was suddenly startled by the big Al animatronic's voice coming from behind the curtain. It was just saying the words, Blood. 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 He quickly went and found his parents, who immediately informed park security and did a sweep of the entire park. Sadly though, Elijah was never found. After months of investigation, authorities believe that Elijah was taken from the theater by an employee or a guest who must have gone out the emergency exit when Joseph had walked into the theater. Joseph never bought that story though. He maintains that the animatronics had something to do with it. What are the odds that they were malfunctioning so weirdly during the time of his brother's disappearance? And the thing about the blood. The scariest thing about the whole thing too is that after the incident, the Country Bears Jamboree reopened and there was a new animatronic in the band. It was the sad little bear hugging his stuffed animal, which was apparently installed mysteriously. That's why, if you ask me, I say they never found Elijah outside the theater, because in actuality he never left it that day. I think he's still in there, somehow trapped inside that bear cub, being forced to listen to the show over and over again. It's been over 40 years now, and I really hope they do close that ride soon, so there can finally be an end to that poor boy's misery. Hey, it's Mr. Freaky. I hope you enjoyed that original creepypasta, and I do recommend you check out that show if you're a fan of terrifying things, because it really is. What's the scariest thing at Disney to you? Leave it in the comments below. Also remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Have a horrific evening everyone, and remember to stay spooky my friends.